What's up guys, this is Nick DeBrower here with Vite Viver, and I'm here to answer a question somebody had for me just the other day. So uh, somebody asked me, um, she said, I'm accomplishing things in my life, but I don't feel anything behind them. There's nothing that's really driving me. Once I complete it, I feel really empty. There's no emotion. So um, I'm here to give my 10 cents on that, or two. I'll say 10 because it's probably worth that. Um, but uh, basically, your accomplishment or your feelings associated with accomplishment kind of fall into two categories, if you want to categorize it. Um, you have your full, uh, prideful feeling of accomplishment, and you have kind of your empty, bleh, nothing feeling of accomplishment, so there's really nothing behind it. Um, your full feeling of accomplishment or your prideful feeling of accomplishment when is when you there's recognition to what you want and you take the time to invest in activities that get you closer to what you want right that's really important but your empty feeling your empty accomplishment feeling this comes from the fact that um, you're doing things or you're accomplishing things that are not in line with your feeling of being complete or your um, or your happiness or your desired achievement whatever it may be so basically how we fall into this just to you know, pan out a little bit, is when we um, participate in this game of life, uh, our happiness comes from contrasting phases. So we tend to become accustomed to our happiness. So whether it's positively influenced or negatively influenced, our happiness kind of fluctuates, and but over time stabilizes. You know, there's loads of studies on this, just, you know, scholar... Uh, interrelationships between happiness and accomplishment but um, the point being is they contrast so um, that's where happiness happiness comes from is from the contrasting phases in our life whether that's from the hour to hour or week to week or year to year if you want to put a time period on it um, but uh, for, for example that's why in life uh, when we get off our work week or our work day and we're getting together with friends or um, family or, you know, we're going camping or to a festival or what have you, there's a lot of energy and uh, excitement and, and happiness behind it. There's, there's a lot of that, right? And um, that comes because we have that work week to contrast to. So if we were doing all that shit all the time, well, we probably wouldn't be as peaked out as we would be when we have something in contrast to, I mean, you could be doing it for four fucking years, and sure, it might still be a great time, but it's, you don't even know, because you got nothing to contrast to, right? So, um, that's where a lot of our happiness comes from. So, basically, a lot of people associate um, accomplishment with fulfillment, which is also associated with happiness to an extent. So, um, and, and, you know, some people come even further on because you know they associate worth with accomplishment with fulfillment with happiness like so that's way off the charts and there's a lot of imbalances that come from that because um, for you to feel that you're not worthy unless you accomplish something is fucking bogus because we all have something to give right and to take if you want to go that far but anyways that's not here nor there um, it's a different video but uh, basically uh, in our lives we all kind of transition from a point where people stop telling us what to do and you know where to go and what choices we have to make and we start making those choices on our own and um, we basically the way we're brought up or who we hang out with or um, who we are as people kind of influence the directions we go and there's two extremes that we can fall into um, one of those being the overachiever you have that person who is just go 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 they're neurotic about getting things done and they just fucking go at it day and night and um, these people are really stuck in the catabolic phases of their life they're always catabolic they're always working they're 24 7 and on the other end of the spectrum you have the sloth he's real slow or oh, she <laughs> Uh, they don't really do much. They dabble in a bit here, they dabble in a bit there, but they never really complete anything. They just kind of cruise, and they've surrendered their body to the anabolic stage of life. And, 
you know, that's also an imbalance. Both are good at times, but I mean, you don't want to be imbalanced. It's not a healthy state of mind. So the kicker behind this one is they both elicit the same feeling. They're both feeling empty because they're not actually moving purposefully towards a goal that they have. They're just kind of, you know, getting a small percentage done of what they want. Whether they know that or not is completely, you know, it doesn't really fucking matter if they know it or not. But that's the feeling they're eliciting. So, not the answer, but the insight I have on this is basically learn about yourself. Invoke your feelings, you know, like what makes you move, right? Like that's, what makes you move is a strong one because it means there's a strong energetic connection between that thought and yourself. Like you can't contain it anymore, right? Like whatever you gotta do, you gotta pace, you gotta vibrate, you gotta fucking move, you gotta yell. Those are physical movements. It means there's a lot associated with that thought in yourself. So focus in on that when you get that. And try to make something semi-concrete about it. You know, it doesn't have to be concrete, but just try to think of something, whether it exists or not. And um, just move towards it. Move towards those things. Because if you um, accomplish things that move you towards your idea of happiness or whatever, you know, invokes your feelings, then you're not only moving yourself closer to that goal through your accomplishments, but you're also bringing it closer through affirmation, visualization, law of attraction. There's loads of shit at play that's going to bring you closer. So, basically, it's really fucking simple. If it feels good, do it. Because if it's making you feel good, you're doing the right thing. You're moving towards something that will make you feel good. It's that fucking simple. Um, but yeah. So in this video, you'll see me um, moving shit from underneath my porch, and that's because I want to create a synergetic, synergetic relationship with uh, myself, the place I live, and what I surround myself with. So I have to create boundaries because if either one of those crosses those boundaries in the extreme sense, then we're not balanced anymore, and you know it kind of fucks up the whole system. So that's it. Do the shit you want to do. As long as it makes you feel good, you're doing the right fucking thing. Peace!